I hear a pipe eat. Yeah. I don't think pace will be it, though, yeah. eh? A lot of sales where how you saw our uh, play that. That's a natural game. I like to, to hit the ball, but... But if he continues with that game, he's not going to be, do too well against Pipey. No, he will not. And uh, Pipey is a lot warmer now. Um, and... See, but you see um, Ricky's going into that power game, his natural game. And that's what the chopper would want. Right now we have a little pause here between the, the score and the observer. Um, it's good to see that these young, we have two young scores. You know, scoring is not an easy job, John. You know, and if you don't have the experience and so on, but you have to get the experience sometime. It's still serving love. Good decision. Um, two serving to love. Dead ball, ball in from the other court. Oh my goodness, a lovely drop ball by Pai P. We've seen those drop balls through the set. Have you been talking to Pai P? You know, you I some time ago no. we said that you, you said he needed to put something <laughs> else in his game. No, Pai P have been and listening he, to he seemed, me. He seemed to have been introducing of late the drop shot. Yes. You know, when it comes to raw tennis, John, um, you have to be very analytical. Uh, I can analyze almost every tennis player in Barbados because I have the experience, I have the knowledge. Um, what would you, what advice so, uh, you should you know, give to Ricky so here like, now? Ricky? You have the, the first game, who you played that first game, that slow floating game, just touch the ball. I think he's going to get quite big trouble. I'd be continuing with that. I'd be put the weight on the ball. I'd be trying to short the ball. That's what Pipey love. You have to serve the ball light and return it light as well. But that costs a lot of energy, a lot of defending. Right, at three serving to four. Three seven four again. The score. Bounce serve to the forearm. Back to the forearm. I think that's a good play that Ricky's trying to make happen. He's opening the forearm, but each time he goes for the shot down the line of the pipey, he, he continues to spoil that ball. I think the, the right plan, he just needs to be a little more settled in that particular selection. And it might very well bring in some points that he's in need of at this point. Five all is the score. It's the final game, game number three. And Ricky will need to do everything he can to get over the line here with Pai P this evening. I think Pai P is in more of a, the driver's seat, even though the scores are even. And his body language, everything, Pai P, I think, is getting the better right now. Six, Six serving to five. Pai P here back in the camera. The Undertaker, the man who's instrumental in this call out. You got to say, especially even to your New York crew, Dot Hin. Yes. And I look forward to, to the Puncher TV following these call outs. Guys, are glad that you're still very much on board and but you keep following the call outs. And we have bigger things in store for you as the year progresses. Yes. We have a national tournament around the corner, the buzz about more tennis coming. So things are looking up. So you guys in New York, don't get too cold. And if you are, <laughs> hey, just get your blanket and the puncher man is here to bring you all the action to the rural tennis scene. For those of you around the region, the Caribbean, hope you're enjoying the coverage. I hope you're enjoying the tennis as well. Uh, it's a kind of sport that we can play in your hometown as well. So you should probably give some thought to how can rural tennis be introduced to where you are. We already saw Rural Tennis moving through the UK. They've been taken all the way to Dubai. So Rural Tennis is moving even as sometime soon, even in Africa. 
Yes. He's on the move, so don't be left out. Get into the sport. Make some inquiries. Hey, we could have some new folks could subscribe to the channel if you, if you like what you're seeing on the channel. If you like and join the commentary, just subscribe subscribe to the channel. So you get some more videos. We are looking to improve as we go along. Ten seven ten scores a lot. Ten seven nine. Nine seven to ten. Ricky's nine, and the undertaker is ten. Service and out chains. Eleven seven to nine. This is the final game in this set. And Pipey continues to keep the ball as much as he possibly can to Rakeef form. And it's paying dividends for him here this evening. And we have already amassed some three points of his serve already. And if he continues, he might very well get all five of these serves. And that would, be, that would give him a, put him in a really comfortable position as we continue in this game. 13-9 is the score. 13-10. But you know the um he's a little footing now, John. He's uh, Yeah, he's losing his footing. He's losing his composure. Yeah, he don't seem to be as relaxed as he was initially. Maybe feeling the pressure of game number three, Darhin. Yes. Like I said, you know, Pipey style, he puts on a lot of ball and he can wear you down. It may look, Pipey style might look kind of simple, but when you go there to play him, John, it's a different kettle of fish. You tend to put a lot of weight on the ball, and there's a lot of spin from his forward arm, a lot of spin from the back arm. And he's a very young fit man. Yes, and it's, it's important that his opponents really try to negotiate the ball properly. But so far, I thought that for the most part, Ricky, especially game one, in particular game one, he was handling the ball a lot better. But as the game carried on, he's struggling now at this point. Yes. I think that one thing that can be contributing to that is the fact that Pipe is warm now and he's actually playing the ball with more force. And that extra speed and spin seem to be giving Ricky some level of trouble to properly negotiate. Another wide serve to the form. But if he continues on the form, that's a lovely change of direction. Beautiful shot there by Pipey through the back arm. And his opponent can only ask back ball, but that's very well played by Pipey. A good setup, excellent setup. Two shots to the form, and the third through the back arm. And his opponent can only ask questions, but getting not the favorable response. Great stuff here. Pipey in the driver's seat. Looking to close out here, back to the form serve. Drag to the back arm, back to the form. This is good moving of the ball here by Pipey, left and right, left and right, and getting the results. Service to the form. That one, he was looking to angle that one again, darting down to, to the back arm. Oh, clever, tricky serve. He even got tricked in the process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ball's up he in was, the court. Yeah. He was looking to deceive his opponent with a softer, gentle serve. And he, oh, he got the line. So that's a net ball in row tennis. The ball is striking the top of the net. Join a serve is a net ball, and the person will serve once again. But Pipey's still very much in the driver's seat here to close out. Two best in three over Ricky Taylor here at Bush Hall. Pipey, back arm chop to the form. Yeah, Score now yeah. 15, serving to 20. Wrap up time for Pipey. Looking for that drop shot, did not work. 16, now serving to 20. Back to the back arm. That's another attempt there by Pipey down the back arm to aim it to go down the line. 
It did not work on that occasion. 17 now, 7 to 20. Going down the road. Here we go. Very good shot here by Ricky. And that one, I think, will bring it to a closure. Very good shot there by Pipey. Back court. Ricky had no answer whatsoever. And that's it. Pipey taking a 2 1 victory here at Bush Hall. Well done to Pipey.